My I mean, next guest is a close friend of mine from the club days, and he's one of my very own writers. He's all the way from the ninth floor. Please welcome Louis C.K. My favorite song. Uh, nice to be here. My name is Louis. I, uh, I live in New York. I like New York because this is the only city where you actually have to say things like, hey, that's mine, don't pee on that. <laughs> I was uh, walking down the street today and I saw this guy on a bicycle. He was on a bike and he was about to go between a parked car and a cab. He looks like only that much space. And I could also see the woman in the cab was about to open the door and he was going to get nailed, you know? And I wanted to yell something, but it was like too much to yell in too little time. Because it was happening so fast, and I couldn't yell, hey, she's going to open the door to that cabin, going to get hit on the bike and go flying and get hurt. <laughs> I couldn't fit it all in there. I just ended up yelling out, bad thing. And, uh, <laughs> I guess I wasn't specific enough, because he's dead. But uh, <laughs> he's a dead guy. So... Then I saw a friend of mine, right? I saw this friend of mine, and he waved to me from across the street. And uh, I wanted to wave back, but I was eating a peach. And I had a newspaper on the other hand, you know? So I just waved the peach at him. <laughs> I felt like I was going, look, I have a peach. Look what a fine peach it is. I am very fruitful indeed. <laughs> you know what surprises me is how often I see people that I know in, uh, in the city, because there's a lot of people here, you know? But I always see people that I know on the street. I also see a lot of people that I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I usually take that in stride, you know? <laughs> but you ever see somebody that you don't know again? <laughs> yes! You know, like somebody that's just a total stranger, but it keeps popping up once in a while. It's like... God is running out of extras in the movie of your life or something. <laughs> starting to reuse people. All right, you go be the guy in the bus. <laughs> but I was just a jogger. Just go, put a hat on. I don't care. <laughs> I was a loser anyway. I never liked it. I got in a really awkward situation today, really embarrassing. Uh, you know when you tell somebody a story, then a week later you tell them the same story again because you forgot, and by this time you've added a bunch of lies to it and you're... <laughs> they have to lie you know like when you're telling somebody a story and halfway through you realize that it sucks you know <laughs> it's not interesting and you have to throw in like a midget on fire or something to make it <laughs> but you have to be careful like the other day i was telling this guy a funny story about something that happened to me and uh, it was a true story but it didn't really happen to me it happened to somebody else so i was just lying and saying it was me and all of a sudden i realized that i was talking to the guy that it happened to <laughs> Like, that wasn't you, that was me. What is wrong with you? Oh, I thought that happened to me. Ah. I always get in embarrassing situations in public. Like, uh, when you get in an elevator and you go to press your floor button and it's already been pressed by somebody else. Yeah, that's one of those moments where you use that voice where you don't actually make words. You know, in public, you go, I. <laughs> <laughs> or like when you look at your watch, uh, not because you want to, you're just looking at it to just look at it, you know, because you feel awkward around people, you just want to look like you're doing something to you, like your watch. Then you put your arm down, somebody asks you what time it is, you have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't read it, I just looked at it. So I'm going to do some impressions for you now. Uh, this first one, this is my impression of a very paranoid guy calling a woman for a date. A very paranoid guy calling a woman for a date. Lolita? Wanna go to a movie? 
All right, 10 o'clock. Meet me at the theater and no cops. <laughs> All right, now this is uh, <laughs> this is a superhero uh, being propositioned by a hooker. A superhero being propositioned by a hooker. Hey, baby, want to have a good time? No. <laughs> All right, now this is. Uh, All right, this is, uh, okay, this is, a, this is a good time to be doing this. Uh, you ever wear a bathing suit because you ran out of clean underwear? All right, so. Anyway, I'm running out of time. I gotta quit, do this really quick. Uh, the, uh, you know, you know uh, there's ways to express yourself in, in uh, life that you can only use in certain situations. Like when you're having sex with somebody and you make those moaning noises, you know? You should be able to use those noises at other times you're happy also, you know? Like say you're at a job interview. And, and it's a really good job. And at the end of it, the guy goes, well, I'm very happy with your resume and you're interesting and uh, I'd be glad to hire you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'll see you Monday. Thanks a lot. All right, thank you. Louis C.K. We'll be right back. I'm here with Louis C.K. How are you, Louis? Hey, how you doing, Tony? Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tony, how are you? That's more like it. Okay. We need pep on this show. Uh, how, how are you? How was your Columbus Day? Was Good. it fun? Good. I went to, down to the village. They had a big festival. I like going to, you know, things where there's a big outdoor area with lots of people. I just, like, stand. If you stand in a big crowd of people, you could just stand there and go, Jimmy! <laughs> Billy! <laughs> And nobody even looks at you, you know? <laughs> and I went, they had those games where you try to win the, the stuffed dog, you know, and right, you end up paying right. like $200 for like an $8. I won, I won these two giant stuffed dogs, and I was by myself, you know? So I'm walking around with these things. I felt stupid, except for when I was at the festival, I was like the hero of everybody around me, you know? So I'm going, Jesus, look at that guy. Those dogs are huge. <laughs> He's the best. You know? and, I'm, and I'm like, yes, look at my dog. <laughs> and fear me! The clown with the balloon on his head was no match for me. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> so, but then when you get farther away from the festival, people are just going, what's with the, the idiot with his giant dog? <laughs> lose your credibility. You should have brought them on the show. I would, I would have. I think the whole audience would have been impressed. Well, I got in a big fight with the giant dogs. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you have an attitude, you know. Yes. That can happen. <laughs> All right, well, I'm afraid we're out of time. Uh, Louis, uh, thank you very much. Ladies and okay. gentlemen, Louis C.K., thank you very much. And, uh, where are you going to be really quickly? Uh, comic strip in New York City. Second All right. Avenue. I also want to thank Mimi Rogers for being here. Thank you very much. <laughs>